click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the expression for the decay constant as well as we have also discussed about the half life and now here we see we are going to talk about the graphical representation of the activity of a radio element so how we can draw the graph let me talk about that in this topic Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the decay constant we have also discussed about the expression of the decay constant as well as the half life so here basically we are going to talk about the graphical representation of the activity of the radio element so how we can represent it this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so friends here we are going to talk about how we can represent the graphical representation for the activity of a radio element but for that we should understand what is the equation for the decay constant so the equation for the decay constant is lambda is equals to 2.303 divided by t log to the base 10 n not divided by n where t is nothing but the time duration in which this change has occurred that is from n not to n and this lambda it means the decay constant so here basically we are going to talk about the graphical representation that is the same equation which is related to that is y is equals to mx plus c or y is equals to minus mx plus c so based on that let us see that which kind of uh, the graph we could get so here we see to make it simplify what we can do is we can shift this t on this side so therefore this will be lambda t divided by 2.303 which is equals to log to the base 10 n naught minus log of n so here we see what we can do is we can simplify this thing by shifting this on this side so therefore this will be minus log of n which is equals to that is minus log of n naught minus plus lambda t divided by 2.303 but since this equation is very much similar to that is y is equals to mx plus c but the thing is this y it should be a positive integer or it should be of a positive value so what we can do is we can multiply this whole equation by minus 1 so let's see what is the equation we could get so therefore we have got an equation that is log of n which is equals to that is minus lambda t divided by 2.303 this is plus log of n naught so this equation that is what we have wrote over here it is very much similar to that of y is equals to minus m x plus c where y it represents log n x it represents time where m that is the slope it represents lambda divided by 2.303 and since it has a negative value that means we could say that is the slope is not positive it is decline that is it is negative plus the constant value or the intercept that is what we could get that will let us to know about the value of or the amount of the initial initial amount of the substance that is initial amount of the radio element that is n naught so in that case basically we have got the constant also so let's see how we can represent this equation so here as we have discussed earlier about the equation which is very much similar to y is equals to minus mx plus c so here we see the y that is the y axis and this is the x axis the y represents log n on the x axis we can write time and here we see we have got an intercept that is c which is found to be log n naught and the slope that is what we have got the slope is negative that means this is the slope that we have got and the slope has a value that is minus lambda divided by 2.303 
So here, what is the information that we could get here? Here basically log n, that means as we have discussed earlier also that is the rate of decay depends upon the concentration of or the amount of the substance that is being present. So if the amount of substance is present at an initial time is more, then we can find that is the disintegration or the decay is also more. But we can also find that is the amount of substance it goes on decreasing as the time goes on increasing. So that is how we see the slope that is what we will get it will be slope in a negative uh, or it will be decline form and this is what we have got to know about the activity that is with respect to time we could find that is the activity of a radio element it decreases and this was nothing but the graphical representation for the activity of radio element and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekr channel thank you so much